हे गाइज लेट्स बी ऑसम टूडे वी ऑलवेज थिंक इट्स इधर इन्फ्लेशन और डिफ्लेशन इन द लास्ट वीडियो इन्फ्लेशन इज कमिंग वी अंडरस्टूड द वर्किंग ऑफ मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी एंड फिजिकल पॉलिसी दैर इज हाउ सेंट्रल बैंक एंड गवर्नमेंट हेल्प रेज एग्रीगेट डिमांड बाय इंक्रीजिंग द लिक्विडिटी और इन प्लेन वर्ड्स बाय इंक्रीजिंग द अमाउंट ऑफ कैश विद द बायर्स which increases the price of the products which then causes inflation wow is it that easy hurray no it is not to understand it better we need to know something about cantillon effect named after richard cantillon okay let me try to explain this in the easiest way possible when government pushes this extra liquidity into the system it does not reach the real economy no i am not saying that it never reaches us it eventually does but only when it's too late it first reaches the top financial institutions banks large corporates and to people who are close to the aristocracy that is oh yes i'm talking about wealthy investors they get the access to this huge money inflow these investors then take advantage of this huge credit facility to buy financial assets and that too at low prices soon these prices inflate an exclusive example just for you guys in march 2020 during the covid crash the markets were at all time low in order to save the economy global banks pumped in liquidity fed in itself pumped around 3 trillion dollars in next 3 and half months in upcoming 9 to 12 months markets were at all time high no need to guess what happened next simple rich became richer bam moral of the story monetary and fiscal policies take time it takes 6 months to 2 years for the money in circulation to reach bottom of the pyramid there is the least earning most exploitable working class and when it reaches them oh my god mighty inflation defeats these survivors once again we notice that although the people have better purchasing power right now through better wages but their growth is not sufficient to fight against huge increase in prices so we get the idea now after this cash infusion money reaches to influential people the products they buy at cheaper prices now become expensive causing inflation and those products whose demand remain the same in this ongoing recession face deflation this phenomenon where inflation and deflation are seen hand on hand is called you got it right it's pieflation we learned in the previous video on inflation that gdp and inflation go hand in hand but wait is it always true the answer is no <laughs> no 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 here comes another marvel character aka stagflation so what is stagflation before that let's take a few steps back and recall inflation mm, we see inflation as rise in prices of the general products and services we use and what is gdp mm, it's a general economic well being of a country when we see inflation growing and gdp declining we see stagflation stagflation is inflation with weak economy many of us might have started to feel that since inflation is rise in price then why not make it zero it's not actually that bad rather if in moderation it actually is the end product or we can call side product of economy actually doing pretty well okay let's backtrack we have inflation right where is this coming from from increase in demand mm, but why increase in demand let us suppose an employee gets an increase in wage it can easily be seen that only one person's increase in wage cannot increase aggregate demand many people should get increase in wages which in simplest way means high employment and when high 
employment is accompanied by increase in wages it increases the aggregate demand yes you get the point the economy is doing good if not great why come on high employment is directly proportional to economy's health the point that i am going to make is i know price increase is not seen as something advantageous because increase in price deter demand but what if the firm or the industry is making profits do you think increase in prices will deter their motivation to produce more no of, co- of course no cuz when you make profits you want to grow it more you make investments you produce more and if you produce more aggregate supply increases which cancels the temporary effect of increase in prices of the products oh, okay 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 uh, let let's do it again we saw increase in aggregate demand creates inflation that is rise in prices rise in price can backstab demand yes it happens temporarily demand slows down on the contrary profitable industries push supply which lowers the price again that's why i i called it temporary now we see how a healthy economy creates moderate inflation and how moderate inflation through increase in wages create an economy where we do not sit just sit on the pile of cash rather spends money for a better quality of life here i'm assuming a homogeneous distribution of money what if inflation cannot be controlled hmm what if inflation becomes high and somehow we cannot curb it even if we want to we all have learned by now that government through its many policies pushes forward the distribution of newly printed money of course to fight recession and unemployment and this extreme push of liquidity is the main reason behind the kind of inflation i'm talking about and if the situation becomes worse we will see hyperinflation there is around 40 to 50% inflation rate no not per annum it's 40 to 50% per month we end up becoming economies like zimbabwe and venezuela just imagine in these countries people often travel with luggages full of cash in order to pay for just groceries but i must explain that why the government does not try to control this uncontrollable inflation in the beginning because in order to control this the government has to increase the taxes stop spending on various projects meant for economic growth and if they do so what happens next is a blunder a big blunder the unemployment rate increases and now who will vote this government back don't you guys think it's more than enough to digest in a single video hence we end it here next we are bringing more stuff we'll give you all the connections we'll finally assist you in connecting these nodes to themselves and finally to the market similarly as all roads lead to rome bye bye